Hey guys, I'm Shaft with Polygon Gaming, and we are going to be doing a little bit of a newbie special. I don't know if this is going to be something we do every week, or if this is just going to be like a one-off thing. Let me know in the comments below if you like this, but hopefully the goal here is going to be to help newer players address things in their own gameplay. This is just a replay I found on the internet, but if you yourself want help with your gameplay. I am considering doing this more often, so send your replays to the email you see on screen right now, or it's also in the description, and if you uh, send the replays in, I will take a look at them and consider uh, talking about them, just like I'm going to do here. Now, what I want to address first is, this is a current patch game, and we've got the Protoss player opening Forge first. Now, this isn't typically standard, but we've got the uh, the pylon going down here, so you can probably expect a cannon rush. I'm going to talk more about the Zerg perspective, because I am a Zerg player. It's something I'm a little more comfortable with. But you can see that he is actually now aware that this is going to be a cannon rush. Let's see how he chooses to respond. All right, he's going to pull off five drones. Let's see. Oh, and here's a sixth one right here. So see how he handles this. He's got one on the probe. That's good. Aw, oh, man, he should be microwing this. Okay, he's got a surround here on this cannon. He should have a couple of these on the pylon, though, because as you can see, more cannons can be built. The pylon is really the key structure here, and another pylon's going down. So the response here, not perfect by check, but uh, still, we'll see how this ends up faring for him. He does cancel that. He does realize that, uh, yeah. So generally speaking, I would say pull down eight. One goes to the probe, three go to the pylon, um, maybe even a fourth one to the pylon, and then uh, the remainder go to the building cannon. That way you just get a little bit of a quicker response. The pylon is the key thing, and you saw Robotoss get a good surround on that cannon, but that just wasn't the important structure. Now you see more probes, or uh, rather more drones getting pulled, and this is just a little bit too late. He's already lost this expansion. He's going to have to rebuild it over here. Um, so... It's not the worst situation for check, but it's not ideal either. Now, Robotoss taking a ninja expansion over here, and this is uh, just not the greatest situation here for check. He doesn't have uh, gas. He's just now taking two of them. He's overmining here, and uh, yeah, the links are going to clean up, but he's still going to have to contend with this here. So, this situation could have gone quite a bit better. This wasn't a particularly nuanced cannon rush or anything. So pull off a few more workers and make sure you're targeting the pylon as well as uh, you know, splitting up your force because it's not gonna be raw damage output that wins. It's actually a uh, finesse that wins this sort of thing. All right, so this game's gonna stabilize just a little bit. And I think what I'll do is uh, fast forward this in post-production. <laughs> At this point in the game, you would expect a third base out of the Zerg, and he really wants one. He doesn't want to be on two base against two base uh, versus a Protoss player, so this is definitely a bad situation for him. He's still seeing that there's no base taken here, but it looks like Robotoss might be thinking of one, and if the Protoss is on three bases while the Zerg is on two, that's definitely a situation that is going to need to be remedied. We've still got more cannons coming out of Robotoss. Now, when you see cannons, the logical follow-ups are Dark Templar or some kind of Stargate play, typically carriers. So, that's what I'd be looking for as check. Now, because Robotoss took this ninja expansion, Oh, there's a Stargate. Boom. Because he took this expansion, these uh, this tech's going to be a little bit delayed, but it's still going to be the tech that Czech should be looking for. So getting an extra Spore Crawler in every mineral one is definitely something he's going to be able to afford to do because he did stay mineral heavy for so long. Now, he is going for this Nidus network, and this is a little tricksy because, I mean, yeah, he's going to put it over here, but Robotoss, uh, he doesn't have vision of it yet, but you would... Uh, it's just it's just gimmicky. It, that's really the the main point. It's gimmicky. We've got the Nexus going down here, so that is the third base. Now Robotoss is aware that there's no third base. There's no units moving out, so he's got to be expecting something like this. And here we go, the Overlord trying to get into a better position because the scouting is happening. 
And uh, yeah, there's just not not a lot of good options here for Chek. Let's see how this turns out. But he is going to be in vision of this this cannon. So I don't know. I don't know. All right. So there's the Nidus. Mothership core does spot that. Probe's going to run right by it. Void rays are on the way, and there's not a lot of gateway stuff here. So probes getting pulled out and he's actually just gonna oh that's actually a really great move here by robotoss i love that why why fight these roaches he knows he's not gonna win this battle and he's kind of forfeiting this so he's gonna lose this main he's gonna lose and eh, not that much um these are all things that he can rebuild over here probably is about to so no big deal but he now he's gonna be limited to just one mining base again so, good move here by Czech. It works out for him at least. Um, not the most standard, but there wasn't enough gateway support here. So, this is taking advantage of the fact that air was so far away. Uh, this is why ninja bases don't really work. Um, the rally lines are just too far away, and you can't defend either location. Alright, so we've got this happening. Not really a lot going on in the Zerg base. We do have another queen coming along, so that's going to be an offensive queen. Um, and, and really, at this point, Czech should just uh, kill off this uh, cannon. He's spreading this creep nicely. That's wonderful. It's going to take this Protoss forever to take this base again, if possible. But really, just take a third base and prepare for this Void Rage. You know this is coming. Like, you know this is coming as a Zerg player. Ah, refreshing beverage. And, okay, so there's a third Stargate. Um, yeah, Hydra's boom. That's sweet. Sweet goodness. All right, Roach is going to come knock this down. And here come the Void Rays. Mothership Core trailing as well. So this is pretty secure. Roaches are definitely out of position, but I'm not sure what they would do against Void Rays. I think Czech is a little confused as to where the uh, the Protoss is. Now this base is definitely going to fall. So this is why you want the Spore Crawlers. Spore Crawlers are still not being built. Um, finally just starting. This might be a little bit too late if Robotoss is smart with the Void Rays. Yes, to just bypass all this. Nope, Queens are going to get pulled. Try and buy some time. This is good, good. All right, and there's enough transfuse energy on these queens, but he's basically just sacrificing the Hydra Den. He's going to rebuild that over here. Yeah, that's it right there. All right, so we've got a lot of drone losses. He could actually rally those to, like, down here somewhere and uh, just build another base instead of losing this. I don't know. Up to him. Anyways, Hydra Den about finished. And I do love how Czech is basically just biding his time. But he lost so much there. That was not an attack he wanted to lose. Now the Roaches are uh, doing some damage and it pulled the Protoss army home. But, um, I don't know. Those weren't the most ideal traits. That was not the best situation. So, again, just know that this is coming. Why not have the Spore Crawlers? Everything the Protoss would do after a cannon rush is beat by Spore Crawlers. And as a Zerg who just knocked back a... Um, cannon rush successfully you should have way more minerals than you really can use so making the spore crawler is not that big of a deal all right so void ray is going to be uh, massacring a lot of roaches hydralisks not really on the field just yet um there was some supply blockage there for a while this is actually turning out to be a little bit of a crazy game a lot of these low level games end up being this way surprisingly enough that or, you know, 1A death balls, one or the other. <laughs> All right, so the Queens and the Hydra is going to be uh, trying to knock this down. Now, these guys are both a diamond level player, so I say low level, but actually, this is probably around the same skill level as most of my audience, if not a little bit better. So, uh, hopefully, you guys are learning a lot just from watching this. Anyways, the uh, Oracles are in production now. Oracles are great follow up because uh, the um, revelation will make it really hard for Czech to attack. Now, really, the thing is, Czech doesn't need to attack. All he needs to do is contain the Protoss, make it so the Protoss can expand while he himself expands. He's getting this base, but this is having the same issue that Robotoss had previously. He can't defend this with all his other stuff over here. So this is going to fall easy, lots of drones lost. 
This is Robotoss's tech space. This is just insanity, guys. Like, hold on. Let's let's pause this. All right. So I want to talk about base structure. Originally, Robotoss was here, okay? And for some reason, he goes over here because he wants to take this as a third. Now, that works out great if your opponent can't scout it, but eventually this is going to get scouted, or you're going to have all your buildings, which is what Robotoss did. You have all your army building stuff here, and you can't defend down here. So that's what ended up happening. Had he taken the bottom left, what he wanted as his third, as his natural, as it's intended to be, the Stargate stuff would have been there. And yeah, it could have been scouted a little bit easier. But you're not hiding it that well if you do a cannon rush. You know as a Zerg player you need Spore Crawlers as a follow-up to a cannon rush. So the point of hiding it is kind of nullified. Anyways, you can't defend it and we you want to be able to defend it. And this is the same thing that's going to happen now for check. Because think of how long it's going to take the Queens and Hydras right here to trek all along this. No creep, no creep, no creep. Down here. No creep, no creep, no creep. Down here. Oh, wait. <laughs> Oops. This map goes this way. All right, guys. Pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> but um, my point's still the same. You can't defend this. Uh, looks like Robotoss isn't even worried about this base. Actually, no, he just thought... Wow. Okay, so if you see Creep and it's continuing to spread in what used to be your main... Go check, go check all the bases, dude. Ah. Okay, so the Roaches, Roaches are pretty much forfeit. Um, I'd like to see more Creep spread coming down here. Hydralisk should be moving there. Like, the Zerg needs more bases. Because his opponent is on containment. Just Spore Crawlers, Bases, Hydras, Queens. But he's getting a little low on the minerals, so... It's fairly understandable. We'll see how this progresses. I'll probably fast forward this in post-production. Alright, and here is the uh, indefensible expansion as we talked about. Alright, so we're going to have a Nidus network popping up here with these roaches. Again, I'd really like to see Check take his third here and uh, try to do something with that, but he's just going to go all in. Now, again, I don't see the reason for trying to attack the Protoss. Just control the map, take more bases, and eventually you can afford to trade. Right now, Check is really low on money. And his opponent is on an equal number of bases. As a Zerg player, you want to be a base up. I think this is still going to work for Czech. I think he's going to win. I don't know if he's going to win with this battle, but this could be played better. That's really the ultimate point I'm, I want to make here. And uh, yeah, this base is actually going to be forfeit. It looks like... Yeah, there's no Mothership core here with this, but he's going to lose a lot of his technology, and he should lose this layer as well. But there's a lot of oracles. A lot of oracles, in fact. And uh, Czech doesn't know about this uh, ninja base on the bottom right. So, Lings with speed, very beneficial, especially when you see a cannon rusher who shows a proclivity towards ninja basing. Put a Ling at every base, or get yourself Overlord speed and uh, drop some creep at every base. Sometimes you can even do both, throw some uh, burrow into that equation and really annoy the hell out of your opponents. But uh, yeah, he did manage to get this base. That was fairly uh, expected because, again, Robotoss is just out of position. But he doesn't know about this, and it's on the other side of the map. That's the big issue is Robotoss is just running check all the way around the map, and check doesn't know where he's going ahead of time. So this is just uh, preliminary thinking ahead, and that's why Robotoss is getting this much damage done. Um, the Overlord's getting massacred. It's going to take an act of Congress to kill that many. And it looks like Czech is actually going to uh, be heading right to the correct spot. No, he's actually going to try to defend this, I think. Nope, nope, nope. He thinks it's here. No, it's not there. No, it's not there. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, 
All right, so we're about to have the big final battle. All right, so the Stasis Ward goes off, and we've got some Hydras doing massive amounts of damage with the Queens. That's really the, the heart of this army, and they're lagging behind hard. All right, so we've got some zone control with the Hydras trying to take out some of the cannons. That's pretty good, and he'll be able to walk his way forward. Another Stasis Ward going off. But there's no real AoE here. Pylon Overcharge doing a lot of damage. And looks like... Oh, another good Stasis Ward. And this is going to be the moment. Looks like the Void Ray is going to choose to engage here. And this is going to be the end of Chek's little Hydra Force here. He fought without the Queens. And that's uh, not a really good choice. Um, the Queens provide a lot of tank, a lot of soak, a lot of buffer. But Chek does have a little bit of an arm er, economy now. 600 uh, saved up. His opponent only has one base. He's got two. He's uh, taking out a lot of the static D. But Robotoss can rebuild that. Boom. And uh, I don't know. Neither player has that much in terms of upgrades. But I don't want to see these queens fighting on their lonesome. That's a big fear. If he loses these queens with that much energy for nothing, he's in a bad spot. But it looks like... This is uh this is gonna be an attack. Mothership Core can go home if he wants to. Queen, transfuse the Hydra, transfuse the Hydra. Alright, so Stasis Ward could go. Alright, we got some good transfuses. It's not gonna be a recall home. This uh Tempest zoning quite well. Oh, loses the transfuse. Loses another, no transfuse. Lose it. Oh man. Okay, so Robotoss does win this game, guys. And this could have all been prevented by some very basic things from check. Number one, um, spore crawlers after a cannon rush. Okay? Now, that's the biggest thing in this game. Not even losing so badly to the cannon rush. It was how he responded after the cannon rush. But on that same topic, don't lose so much to the cannon rush uh split your army a little bit take out the pylon first uh the same principles we talked about there and finally don't let your opponent get all these ninja bases up now in the early game it's hard to prevent more than anything you can punish that and check did a great job doing that even if it cost him a little bit the problem was he tried to take his own ninja base. Ninja bases don't really work that well, especially not as a Zerg player. You want all your stuff coming from one direction. He should have taken his normal third. And from there, just play a defensive game because it's up to Robotoss to expand, in which case check knocks it down. Or Robotoss mines out and eventually just has to attack his opponent and loses. Or he tries to attack his opponent now and loses. It doesn't really matter. The pressure is on your opponent to attack you. Um, Czech did a great job taking out that uh, top left base, but he lost a lot of his own stuff. And it was the run from the top left corner to the bottom right that really wrecked him. He felt that pressure. Now the question is, why did he feel so much pressure to make that attack happen? Well, his opponent's getting a great technology. He doesn't have that much of a follow-up. He's just got the uh, Hydras. He could have thrown down a Spire, but he didn't. Um, but the big issue is he didn't have an economy behind it. And I think he was scared to get an economy behind it because his opponent did have such good technology. But really, that's <laughs> really, spore crawlers are all you need to knock back void rays and such. Yeah, they're going to, uh, to end up dying. Spore crawlers are definitely going to die. But have a couple of queens there, transfuse them. You can buy yourself time to get home and defend or to do the damage that you needed to. Now, Czech had a Nidus network. Had he gone home when he saw that, boom, done. He could have left a small force to finish killing the Protoss in the top left corner once he had killed off all those cannons. Gone home, defended, boom, done, easy. So a lot of this wasn't macro, wasn't anything like that. It wasn't even micro, it was decision making. So, Hopefully you can incorporate this into your own gameplay. Hopefully you can learn from Czech's mistakes. And again, guys, if you want to send your replays in, send them to the email you see on screen and in the description, and I'll be sure to take a look. Please make sure you like this video, as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support us on Patreon, please visit the link in the description. Pledging just $1 helps us more than you could ever know. Thank you so much, guys.
See you next time. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.